This segment is sponsored by Viewpoint Construction Software. So how do you transform your operations to heighten safety, improve safety, and save some money? You can turn to Industry 4.0. Investment and proper implementation of the Internet of Things just might reduce your project costs. But achieving those savings will require all the players in the construction industry to transform their operations. Here to explain this is Jose Luis Blanco, associate partner of McKinsey & Company. Jose, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Peggy. Thank you for having me. So, Jose, let's talk about the construction industry and how they're embracing digital technology and how that's going to help them improve productivity. Absolutely. Look, the opportunity is huge. It's massive. Let me give you a few numbers. Every year, there's around $10 trillion of construction-related spend in the world. That basically is 13% of the world GDP, and 7% of the world population is actually employed in construction. So construction matters. The opportunity is huge. So uh, over the past years, and this is well known, I mean, construction has been lagging in terms of making productivity improvements versus other industries. As a matter of fact, they've only been improving 1% per year, and in developed countries, that, uh, that improvement has actually been zero, flat. So it's really like a big gap has been opened versus other industries that have been improving. So in the recent report that we just finalized, we basically um, tried to size what's the size of the opportunity if construction were to catch up with the rates of the industry. And that's basically around $1.6 trillion of value added to the economy. That's about as big as the size of Canada's GDP. So massive. Uh, in terms of productivity itself, what we found is if we deploy a certain set of levers, such as improving collaboration, regulation, design and, design and engineering factors, you can actually improve the productivity by 50 or 60%. And that's just improving productivity on the way we do projects right now. If we were actually to depart completely from a project-based approach to a much more like a manufacturing-like system approach for construction, that improvement could be like one order of magnitude higher. So massive. So when you talk about that, it's interesting because we've said for a very long time that construction's been lagging. But how do we go about changing that? Because we know they have to improve productivity, they have to get these gains, and we know there's a lot of opportunity in construction. What do we need to do to change that trajectory? Yeah, so look, there's two things that I want to like highlight here. It's like, I mean, there's plenty of factors that have contributed over time to productivity being uh, behind. But, you know, external forces such as like, complex regulations, like projects being time and over time more complex, industry dynamics, that's having a fragmentation in the value chain and basically not being completely transparent on what's going on. And, and finally, like firm factors, like you know, poor project management, lack of training in individuals. So all these together has created the, uh, the environment for productivity not to move. But this is actually changing right now. For the first time in decades, there's, we feel there is a movement in the industry towards actually tackling all that. We see construction firms appointing chief digital officers and hiring data scientists. I mean, anyone that has worked in a construction company knows how big of a change that adds in terms of, in terms of mindset. They're hiring chief innovation officers. They're actually partnering and investing on, techno and te on construction technology companies. And recently, like past two years, we've surpassed like a hundred rounds of financing by venture capital in construction. So everything is moving towards disrupting the system as, as it is today. Jose, can you please give us the technologies you think hold the best, I guess, opportunity for the construction industry? Sure, there's plenty of technologies out there, but let me tell you about two that I'm personally excited about. So the first one is what I call drone and IoT enable real-time project monitoring. Uh, what is exciting about this is building on the adoption of BIM uh, to actually have combined that project baseline that BIM provides with a massive data collection enabled by drone systems and IoT. What is truly exciting about this application is the ability to reduce decision-making cycles in a construction project from like a monthly basis to almost like a daily basis to so the full automation of project scheduling and budgeting updates on the combination of BIM, IoT, and drone capability. The second one is what I call like zero incident enabled wearables and VR. And, and as AR and VR and wearables usage in the industries is increasing exponentially, what I'm really excited about is that we're going to be able to tailor 
uh, our safety training to actually a specific construction site. So even before our, our construction workers set foot on site, they're going to be familiar with the project. So it's really achieving zero rates of incident by getting really granular on the trainings and even just alert them through the wearables when actually they're basically approaching a dangerous zone. I think this is really exciting, all the things that you're talking about. So what advice would you give executives going forward when they think about where construction and technology and this digitization is headed? Yeah, so the advice that I would give the, I would give the construction executives is sometimes when you actually approach a digital transformation, it might seem daunting. It might seem, I don't know where to start. Uh, what I believe that we need to th think is, this is actually a combination of different things. You need to actually really put the technology in place. You need to adapt your processes. But on top, you need to ch change the mindset of the people. You need to explain very clearly what's the need for me. What do we need to change actually the way we work? Number one is they need to have a clear perspective on what the digital strategy is. So what are you trying to achieve by deploying all this new technology, right? The second one is they need to take advantage of having multiple projects ongoing at the same time in multiple parts of the world. So they need to turn their projects into test labs to really like have the proof of concept of what we're trying to do. They need to be data driven. So they need to actually like evaluate what's going on and not going on and make changes. And they, and last one, they need to, they need to increase the investment. They need to establish like listening post industry. They need to meet with stakeholders. They need to change a little bit the way they've been working and understand that innovation is going to come. So they need to be a part of it. The, the pieces that I've got to provide that I have. I think that's so important. You know, Jose Luis Blanco, associate partner of McKinsey and Company, thank you so much for all your time today. It's really been great to spend and learn so much that you're saying, and the report sounds so interesting. Thank you so much today. Thank you for having me, Peggy. All right, well, that's our innovation in tech for today.